So this is how you would upload your Zoom recording into UGIS. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go into any one of my courses here. And you can see over here on the side, uh, UGIS is one of the options there. Now if you don't see UGIS there, what you can do is go down to Settings. Click on the navigation and if UGIS wasn't there, it would be down here somewhere in the page disabled won't appear and you could just drag it up to where you wanted it to be scroll down and click save so there's my UGA there so I'm just gonna click on it and it's gonna open up the UGA client and all I need to do at this stage is just click on upload and from here I want to browse to where the file is so in my case I'm going to go to my downloads and here's a recording that I just downloaded from zoom a few minutes ago and I'm going to click open and then I'm going to click start upload and you can see it starts down in the queue down here and it'll work its way across and it'll give me it'll start to turn blue as it works its way across you can see there we go I've got 1% and it'll work its way. Now I don't need to stay here while it's going across and depending upon how long your recording has been, I wouldn't recommend that you do that. I would recommend keeping this window open just so that you can check back every so often and see how it's doing. So I'm going to pause the video here while it uh, finishes uploading and once it's finished uploading we'll start over again. So when the video has been uploaded into Yuja, you'll get an email that actually tells you that it's there. So here's the email that I just got from Yuja, letting me know that the video is ready and is available right now. Uh, so if I go back over to my canvas, and here's the page I left open, you can see it's finished. And I uploaded it about 42 minutes ago and uh, it's already finished processing although sometimes if you get the email and come over right away you'll see that it is still processing so there'll be little dots going across there um, now one of the things you can do and I often will do is because the name um, GMT 2021071-1659 underscore recording dot 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 doesn't really mean a lot uh, what I'll often do is I'll go into the more option and I'll rename this to be something that's more specific to what I'm interested in. So recording of event on 01 July. Um, so I know that um, that's what it is. And once I've done that, I can just click save general and it'll go across there and you can see it's closed. And so that's perfect. And then I can just go close. And now it's available in my Yuja. And even though I'm in this particular course and I uploaded it to my Yuja account in this particular course, it's available to me regardless of what course I go to. So I could go to another Canvas course and actually embed the video there. So hopefully that's been useful in terms of uploading your Zoom recordings to Yuja.